So I'm changing Grayson's mattress. I'm changing the sheets on it because he got into poop again. And I think I'm just going to have to start putting him into like white body suits under his two-piece outfits from now on, which is just another step. So it's annoying. But while I'm changing, he got a lot of his stuffed animals. He has so many stuffed animals and he's putting them all on the bed and he keeps pretending to go no night. He loves it when I take his mattress out of his bed so he can just... <laughs> lay on them. This past weekend we went to like a park and we kind of just hung around the home, watched football games, we had friends over but I didn't film any of that and then Anthony and I took a walk yesterday and I should have pulled the camera out and I just I guess I was just having too much fun I couldn't even didn't even think to do that so today is laundry day and grocery day but I didn't plan on doing Grayson sheets again but here we are so that's okay, and my big project this week, Grayson turns 18 months, which would be a year and a half, on Friday. So my job, now that he is turning 18 months, is to take all of his 12-month clothes down and put them into piles, which I've already started to do. I've got 12-month um, jammies, 12-month clothes. I even have some 9 to 12 months things that I have to put away, and I have to put them all in piles and then put them in tubs and put them downstairs in storage with all the other clothes until we have the next baby. So it's a lot to do. Um, and of course there's like no timeline. I can do it whenever I want, but I just want to get them out. His closet's going to look so bare because we have so many 12 month clothes and we have so many like summer outfits and now the warm weather is finally going away so I can put those away too. So I'm just trying to like change things out if he's 18 months old he shouldn't be in 12 month clothes anymore that's just kind of silly so I need to get all that done so that's what we're working on and Grayson's not helping but that's okay he looks so cute <laughs> hi <laughs> yeah do you see the bus Thank you. 
Good afternoon, everyone. So I wanted to finally start vlogging because we've actually already vlogged today, but I didn't really give an introduction to it. So here I am. Um, this morning, Grayson and I went to the zoo again, to the Columbus Zoo. We had another play date scheduled. Grayson is looking in the viewfinder. No, no. Excuse the Christmas music. Gray loves Christmas music. And yes, it is only October, but this is our life. Anyway. So yes, we went to the zoo this morning. There was a play date. As you've seen in um, previous vlogs, and if you haven't, go check those out. We go to the zoo every two weeks or so. Um, they have a little, little explorer program. And basically they just, every couple weeks, they switch it up to a different part of the zoo. So you're going all over the zoo. And they have different stations set up each time for kids like 18 months to three years to play with. And it's really fun. Um, there's been who works at the zoo, so they've showed like different jobs that the zoo people works. There was whose habitat is that, is this, so they would show like different habitats that the animals live in and things like that. And today, uh, today was who's been here, I think. And I don't really understand really the concept of it, but it was fun. It was in the heart of Africa, so with the lions and the zebras and all that, which was fun. Although it was in the way back part of the zoo, so we had to trek forever to get there because the zoo was huge. But we made it, and they had puzzles and stuffed animals. Is that Felix? Go give him a kiss. Can you go give Felix? Oh, ah, thank you. Can you give Felix a kiss? Gray's favorite is always where they have, like, they always have this bucket filled with oatmeal flakes and then something inside. And so this time it was paw prints of animals. So they had like beaver prints and lion prints and I don't even know what else they had. And then you could like, they were like hollow. So you could fill them with the oatmeal. So that was really fun, but messy. Gray loved that. And then they also had a bunch of like sticks and then you could put like, they had like tree. I, I'm really bad at explaining this, but they had like pieces of tree and then like with holes in them. So you could like put them on all the sticks. Grayson is trying to get Felix behind me. He's been really rough with him, side note, but anyway. Um, yeah, so it was really fun. Although this time Grayson wasn't that entertained with the station. So we only lasted like a half hour, but it actually worked out great because right next door to where we were was the um, che cheetah run area. And I think most zoos have this. I know the Cincinnati one did when um, I went to the Cincinnati Zoo. But every day at different times of the day, they have like a cheetah run show and it's only like 15 minutes long. And basically they like have the cheetahs chase like this ball on a tether around like the exhibit and they go super fast. So we watched that and Gray loved it. He loved watching the cheetahs. He thought that was super fun. I liked how short it was because he was like, you know, his attention span is so short. So it was really good. And because we went during the day in the morning, the zoo was like empty. So we got a good viewing spot because usually if you go during the weekdays, or I mean on the weekends, it's like so busy and you can't get a spot to watch the cheetah run. So that was really cool. And then after that was done, it was getting later into the day. Gray needed lunch and a nap so then we headed home after that but it was good it got us out of the house um it was just funny because the last time we went like a week ago to the zoo for their um little explorer program it was a high of 92 that day and then today we went and it was like 60 degrees out not even so freezing like such a difference just a week makes but it was fine it was really fun and we saw our friends and all that so that was great and now, um, Gray and I are just hanging out. Grayson, 
is chasing Felix. He's gotten really mean with Felix, and I really need to watch him. He used to only, he used to go for Felix's tail and grab it and try to rip it. Now he goes for Felix's legs. So I'm trying to discipline him. Like I put him in like I pu I pull him away. I put him in the corner. Yeah, but he doesn't. He just thinks it's funny. So I don't really know what to do about that. So that's what we're working on. I'm also still working on putting away Gray's 12-month clothes. I've got them in a box, so now I just need to, like, fold them and put them nicely in the box, which is going to take a while, so I'm just going to do it one evening when I get time. Grayson can now climb the couch. Let's see if he'll show us. You can do it. Climb the couch. No. You do it. Can you go up? You need help. I've seen him do it, but for some reason today, he's not doing it. But yes, he can now climb the couch on his own, which is very scary. Oh, gosh. It's just constant chaos here in the Denzel house. There he goes. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, we had an eventful morning. Now my parents are on the way here. Um, and my mom's gonna hang out for a little bit. She got some clothes for Grayson because the Carter store where they live was closing So everything was super cheap. So I'm excited to see what she grabbed and then we're gonna meet some of my siblings tonight for dinner So should be fun. I don't know if I'll vlog at all. We'll see mm -hmm. ah. You see Felix? Mm -hmm. No, no Are you gonna go get him? Out on the front porch, playing with the fall decorations. Gray loves to kick the pumpkin like a soccer ball and to move the scarecrow. School bus. Ah. Yeah, is that a school bus?